we made an online survey, and saw that many of the people are curious about what will happen on Earth in around 100 years, so we have brought some of the amazing things, which could happen. Number 1. Oceans will be extensively farmed and noticed for fish. We will need to feed 10 billion people and nature can't keep up with demand, so we will need much more ocean farming for fish. But algae farming is also on the way for renewable energy, and maybe even for growth of feedstock, raw materials, or resource extraction via GM seaweed or algae. Number 2. We will have the ability to communicate, through thought transmission. Transmission will be just as easy as other forms of brain augmentation. Picking up thoughts and relaying them to another brain will not be much harder than storing them on the net. Synthetic telepathy sounds like something out of Hollywood but it is absolutely possible, so long as communication is understood to be electrical signals rather than words. Number 3. Thanks to DNA and robotic engineering, we will have created incredibly intelligent humans who are immortal. It is more likely that direct brain links using electronics will achieve this, but GM will help a lot by increasing longevity, keeping people alive until electronic immortality technology is freely available at reasonable cost. The idea that breakthroughs in the field of genetics, biotechnology and artificial intelligence will expand human intelligence, and allow our species to essentially defeat death. Number 4. We will be able to control the weather. There is already some weather control technology for mediating tornadoes, making it rain and so on, and thanks to climate change concerns, a huge amount of knowledge is being gleaned on how weather works. We will probably have technology to be able to control weather when we need to. It won't necessarily be cheap enough to use routinely and is more likely to be used to avoid severe damage, in key areas. Number 5. Antarctica will be open for business. The area seems worth keeping as a natural wilderness, but we do expect that pressure will eventually mean that some large areas will be used commercially for resources. It should be possible to do so without damaging nature there if the technology is good enough, and this will probably be a condition of exploration rights. Before there is a rush to develop Antarctica we will most likely see a full-scale rush to develop the Arctic. Whether the Arctic states tighten control over the region's resources, or find equitable and sustainable ways to share them will be a major political challenge in the decades ahead. Successful, if not necessarily sustainable, development of the Arctic portends well for the development of Antarctica. Number 6. Space elevators will make space travel cheap and easy. First space elevators will certainly be around, and although cheap is a relative term, it will certainly be a lot cheaper than conventional space development. It will create a strong acceleration in space development, and tourism will be one important area, but we doubt the costs will be low enough for most people to try. Number 7. Marriage will be replaced by an annual contract. We think we will certainly see some weaker forms of marriage that are designed to last a decade, or two rather than a whole lifetime, but traditional marriage will still be an option. Increasing longevity is the key, if you marry at 20 and live to well over 100, that is far too long a commitment. People will want marriages that aren't necessarily forever, but don't bankrupt them when they end.